damn, that was some shit. Anyway, welcome back today to the Wolf Among Us. Fucking hell, though. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the ending of the last episode. Seriously. You'll catch right up. I don't know why I'm talking with a half Irish, half Cockney accent right now. But it feels like it fits the fucking mood. Nice to go with Jack X. Septic Eye does it. A crooked mile. With the building 1143 PM. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Exactly. <laughs> Don't Ooh, go looking good. for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent oh, home. Thank God. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. Oh, thank God she I lived. Left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Thank God she's alive. Or Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. I'm being a nice guy. I don't know why. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? Well, D and Dumb are probably on the run. She doesn't want to stare at the muscles. Just stare at them. So... Sexual tension! Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the Oaken Arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. <laughs> Thank you, Buffkin. Covering. Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Yes. Everything points to him, I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? Doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't Unless make sense. Unless it's a cult thing. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. Asshole. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. Ugh. Murdering prostitutes. Ow! Everything's It's another okay day in Miami. Over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. I'm being the super nice guy this time. Eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I um, ask you a question? You want to have sex with me? It's kind of personal. She wants to have sex with me. And I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Yes, I do. Because it gives you an excuse to just... You know... Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? Hmm. We have a problem. 
What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a... Uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. Listen to Buffkin's idea. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. Listen to his idea! I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. Alright. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know that Never it... mind that. Come help me look. Hold on one second. I'm going to turn on subtitles so then I can start talking more and still pay attention. Thanks anyway, Buffkin. Oh, let's see. Genie lamp. Hmm. Take a look at his desk from around this side. Check all these. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some rest in the residence, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be a priority. Waylon Smith. Snow, quit looking pissed at me. God. I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix air conditioning. Bring him the apartment. Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I like if you fix the air like we asked you three months ago. The very least provides a fan. Uh, this. Let's pay the plaster redone. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix. I can't run out room. Not to mention. It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Green ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Who's Cole? All oh, the pirate looking dude? What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Yep. Creeping bastard. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. Pervert. There's only so much you can repress, you know? I wonder if there's a sex offender list in, uh, Snow, you, you in a fable town. No. no, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Yep. What's down in the dress drawer here? Office of Business Affairs. Da, 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 da. Can't read it. She smiled at me. That's good. Authorized articles. The ring There's of something. page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? Maybe. The Ring of Sword. That's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, oh. what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Why did you yes, tell us this sooner? like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? Yeah, no Buffkin. one asked me. Buffkin! <laughs> Over. I'm sorry. <laughs> they set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Oh, What's shit. going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me. I Rita. called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. 
None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? Exactly, so get the fuck there. out. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? Exactly. But he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. So what, are you gonna be the next from Morgan of all this shit? Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you are chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then. Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Well, I'm sorry, Bluebeard, but we're doing the best we can in the situation right, we're let's in. let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. Exactly. The few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. <laughs> Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time. The mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. All right, Bluebeard, you just whatever. Can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear. If that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Yep. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me while the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. In the cutscene, so he left. This is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Alright, I'm going after Lily stuff. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Uh, I'm going after her to find the witch. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Okay. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Uh, we're gonna go to D's office and still now. must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. Yep. I mean, they're his protection, right? My, what big eyes you have. In the Tweedle Brothers' office. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi, Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me, 
I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. I don't really think he likes me. Well, it's probably. been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me oh. the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. Thank you, dude. Unless I'm it is a trap. To take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't I'm really sure. asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, well, they never told me not to. It's official you. business. It's official fabled town business. Don't worry. Right. And we're going to stop here. I'm in fun loving. Beer chug and reckless kind. It don't take nothing. Put me down. It's so to step outside. I like Jim Beam and a John Wayne. A school boys were all the same. With a big hell yeah. A whole lot of American pride Just a little on the redneck side